It's the last race weekend of the FIA Formula 3 European Championship at Hockenheim. The pole sitter in race one is Callum Eilert. The Bremer driver in the last few races has been in good shape and still has chances for P2 in the championship. Going from P2 on the grid, it's the man of the season, Lando Norris. P8 in this race will be enough to take the title for 2017. Only Maxi Gunter, who starts from P12, has theoretical chances of the championship too. At the start of race one, then Lando Norris with a bad start, falls back from P2 to P3 behind Joel Eriksson. Callum Eilert stays in front, but not for long because in the first lap, Callum Eilert with a mistake, he goes wide and Joel Eriksson takes the lead. Lando Norris with an aggressive move goes on the inside of Callum Eilert to take P2. Ferdinand Habsburg, though, is the one that will be able to take advantage out of this fight and will overtake both of them for P2. But only a few laps later, Lando Norris with a great manoeuvre against Ferdinand Habsburg to retake that P2 position. Maximilian Gunter, the last possible champion beside Norris with a bad race, though. Only P10 with a mistake in the gravel. Joel Eriksson wins the first race of the final weekend at Hockenheim. But the man of the race is Lando Norris. By taking P2 in the race, he seals the Formula 3 European Championship title for 2017. The Carlin team celebrate Ericsson Norris Habsburg with the drivers on the podium and Lando Norris celebrates his championship win with some donuts. And as you can see, it's Norris, Ericsson and Gunter now the one, two, three in the drivers' championship. At the start of race two, pole setter Callum Eilert stays in front ahead of Maxi Gunter and Guan Yu Zhu. Three Prema drivers in the lead behind them, Jake Hughes and Joel Ericsson, who takes a position from Pedro Piquet shortly after the start. Mick Schumacher and Ferdinand Habsburg touch each other. The new champion, Lando Norris, well, he makes a big mistake. He goes wide and falls back from P7 to P13. Ferdinand Habsburg then into the pits with a puncture caused by the collision with Schumacher. Maximilian Gunter with a controlled second place in the race and Joel Eriksson overtaking Jake Hughes here fighting for P4. Every point counts in the fight with Maxi Gunter for the second place in the championship. The champion Lando Norris, of course, has nothing to prove and uh, just before the end he overtakes David Beckman, but it is for P11, therefore he will score no points. In the end, Callum Eilert will take his sixth victory of the season before his teammates Maxi Gunter and Guan Yu Xiu. A three-way lockout for the Prema Power team then on the podium. Eilert, Gunter and Xiu with Joel Eriksson at P4. So the three Prema Power team drivers on the podium means that Prema wins the team title for 2017. So at the start of race three, and the fight for P2 in the championship is between Maxi Gunter and Joel Eriksson, who has to come from P5 on the grid. A bad start from Callum Eilert. He falls back to P5. Gunter stays in front. Joel Eriksson needs at least a third place if Maxi Gunter wins to keep second in the championship. Here he overtakes Jake Hughes and goes to P3. An accident between Mick Schumacher and Ralph Aron. Both have to drive after the collision into the pits. Schumacher needs a new front wing and Ralph Aron a new back tyre. Bad luck too for Ferdinand Habsburg. He crashes after contact with Gian Ravala. He's into the wall. Callum Eilert overtakes Jake Hughes for P5. Really benefiting from the fact that Jake Hughes runs very wide. Callum Eilert on the inside off the back of the hairpin is able to make the overtake. Making the last race a victory of the season 2017 though, it's going to be the Prema Power Team driver Maximilian Gunter that takes the chequered flag and the race win for Prema Power Team. The order then, Gunter, Ericsson and Guan Yu Zhu, the 1-2-3. As Maximilian Gunter celebrates in Park Ferme in the Drivers' Championship, it finishes Lando Norris, Joel Ericsson, Maximilian Gunter. And that's the way a champion opens his bottle of champagne.